Hey hi hello namaste welcome to CR Entity Designers this is Chetan and in this tutorial I'll be show you my hard surface production modeling workflow I will explain the steps which I use while creating any kind of production model so now let's get started to make this model I have used a simple cylinder with the 16 words then I have added the few loop cuts here and then I delete those top and bottom face okay then I have used the edge slide to create a slant cut I didn't use the knife tool I have used the knife tool later on so just use the edge slide to avoid those uh, weird result of the triangles when you use a knife tool and then use the knife tool to get the perfect cut at there something like this you can use and then just add I have added a few loop cuts at there to get the good topo and then just fill these gaps and add a sub D modifier add few more loop cuts to just fill this gap press F4 to fill the gap and just try to get the basic form for your model and just add more loop cuts on your model and just try to get the basic form for your model like those harder edges where will be the softer edges all these things according to that you need to add the loop cuts on your model and first don't worry about the edge flow we will maintain that edge flow and we can give the right form like a curve edges wherever it's necessary after editing the after getting the first the basic form so you will get an idea about the model and then I have applied the sub D modifier with one viewport level and here I have used the knife tool to create a slant cut because this this is like a design part and so that's why I want to create that so just I have used the slant cut with the knife tool and just I try to create a here chord based topology you can see here just I extrude that words and something like that and then just you need to fill this gap so you can select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and make sure you add a loop cuts in a proper manner like is equal number of loop cuts and then fill this gap so something like this and then just add necessary loop cuts to get that harder edges at there and then I have selected these faces and just I want to try to create a little bit of design at that so just I have used the simple insert and extrude operation at there simple things and here I work a lot to get the right topology right edge flow to get the right loop around that structure and then I select these faces and I want to create a little bit of design here so just select these faces and insert use the insert operation and just extrude inside this and we are getting the little bit of weird results so that's why I have just deleted those faces and extrude them along the z-axis like I have moved them along the z-axis and just here I need to work a little bit more to maintain that edge flow and to avoid the weird results of the overlapping edges and the faces because those edges are too close then I have created something like this with the right topology and something with the looks good with the harder edges and the softer edges like this and then I try to work uh, on this topology to get the right loops around that particular geometry then I work here like I have added dissolve the few loop cuts and just I try to create a I just reduce the loop structure and I have created the loop structure here I divert that loop structure so I can work on this part particularly so here will be the nice good topology and I can work easily so just I select these faces and then delete those faces and just I want to create a little bit of extrude kind of like a depth kind of shape so just select these edges and then press F fill something like this I did and that's not difficult but it is like a time consuming things and just I create like this kind of shape here and then you need to fill these gaps and after that I turn on that sub D modifier and you can see after adding sub D modifier we need to work a little bit more on it to add those harder effects then I created a simple design like here so just I've selected the faces insert and then extrude operation and create something like this by adjusting the scale in a proper way and to give that like a right position to those age loops and you need to create a right face loops around those like age loops around that particular mesh so like this so you will get a decent look on your model so something like this I have worked on this particular parts to get that achieve the desired results then I select these faces then just extrude inside and insert operation something like that simple things to get that depth kind of shape and then few more details on it then I selected these faces and just extrude outside them and just create a little bit of design right there not too complicated simple simple things but you need to manage the loop structure like edge flow topology too many times on this particular model because it's like a complex thing so there are more details so that's why you need to work more on its topology and then just here I have used the insert edge loop, uh, insert operation and then simple loop tool to make the circle and then circular boolean set there simple 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 things but time consuming things okay so I have used the simple 
bull tool here to create that the booleans and then simple and then take the symmetry to the another side and then here i re-edit that topology to and then i try to get the good edge flow at there so that's why i need to move the words here and there and to maintain that curved shape of the cylinder and i work on this topology to get the right edge flow so i have used the knife tool to create divert that loop structure to the another side so i can reduce few topology few edges unnecessary edges we are which are creating the little bit of difficulty to work me on this model while creating the more details so just have select these faces use the insert operation and extrude inside to add that detail and that's not difficult that's easy and then just simply I have created here the little bit of design just uh, select these faces insert operation and then extrude inside something like that and I have given the very less uh, offset amount for the insert operation here so that will look good and simple simple things just select these faces and then just press I for the insert operation and then extrude inside make sure it is a cylindrical part so you will face little bit of difficulty while using this such kind of insert operations and the extrude operations make sure you have the good topo on your model then it will be the possible like a more geo and good topology okay just I have created a little bit of design here so I have selected these faces and press I for the insert operation and then extrude inside them like this and scale them along the z-axis and give the value 0 and give the proper position and the scale to them so you will get something like this and then add unnecessary loop cuts at there and just work on its topology one more time to get the right loop structure around that particular design and something like that I did and then I got the desired result after working on it then I try to get that right topological structure for this particular design. So you can see I got the right result at there. And then I started to add necessary loop cuts on the model to get those harder edges and try to reduce few topology unnecessary things and the topology work to divert those edges. To reduce this, the topology from all over the mesh like uh, one loop goes all over to the mesh and we don't need that so that's why you need to uh, weld that topology words sometimes some tricks you need to use while creating something like that and then I have created a simple design here with a simple insert and extra operation and try with your mesh play with your topology play with your that geo and create a little bit of design and make sure you're, you create that design in a proper way so it will look good little bit so something like that I did here and that's look good decent and then I fill these gaps and necessary gaps like uh, those gaps with a simple not I can say the simple like I need to work a uh, little bit more at there so I did is a lot of work or to fill the gap and to get that boolean underneath that cylinder you can see and that's also one more thing that you should have the right topology chord based topology and the right edge loop structure then I have created this part with a simple by duplicating those faces and making different them and just simple extra operation something like that so here you need to fill these gaps little bit and then create a simple object like that which we can fix at there so you need to spend a lot more time while creating something like this it has taken a three days to me to complete that and just here I have used a simple insert operation and then loop tool to create the cylindrical boolean so make sure you use uh, select the proper faces while creating something like the booleans and create this kind of booleans at the ending of your modeling process so, so if you are not adding more details on your model and you want to get the final details then you can use this because when we create something like more details around these booleans and so that's why this boolean gets affected so that's why I like to create a cylindrical booleans at the end of the modeling process so same thing here also I did just select these faces use the loop tool and create a cylindrical boolean out there So something like this you can easily do but it's a time consuming and keep the few reference images in front of you so you will get an idea while creating your models and creating the details on it 
okay then i walk here i just want to create the just land cuts like a tapper kind of shape so that's why i did this something like this and then i created the light topological structure loop structure around that particular mesh so here you need to maintain the chord based topology and which is a little bit difficult to maintain that chord based topology so if you have few triangles set there then it will be defined and if you are getting the good result on the model and then i work on its on like that loop which goes around the mesh and you can see we are getting the tapper kind of shape and the hard structure ahead there for the model and then create a loop around your model like that particular part and then you can add the loops like this so you can maintain its harder edge so something like this you can do and the idea about this kind of details i get from the reference image so i always like to put the reference image so whenever you are creating something like this like a little bit big it will take a time keep a few reference image in front of you don't create one at a time don't try to create a, everything one at a time so it will take a time so spend little little bit time like few hours you do now in the morning then you can do it in the evening take a break think on the idea think on the design and then start to work on it later on so you will your mind will be fresh and you will get a few more ideas about the design process and you can work on it very well so just i have tried to create a little bit of design here simple design with a insert edge to look like a insert faces and then extrude inside and just create a little bit of face loop structure around that particular boolean something like that i got and then then i created a little bit of design on this model like t here just a simple insert operations just use the a slide to give the little bit of direction to this edge loop so you can create your later on design here i started to use the uh, already existing topology existing geo on this model because i don't want to add more topology on it like more geo so i will destroy the previous details if i want to create a new detail so i try to figure out the details with the existing topology so after creating these details you can see that's look good uh, the model will get the decent look so then i have used the loop tool here just to create a simple boolean add there and so it will get a good look design so just use the insert operation just to add look cut add there so then i fill this gap with a simple merging those words together like uh, welding those words together and reducing the topology and because here i don't want to create any kind of detail so that's why i use that otherwise i have to spend a lot more time to work on this like to uh, fill this gap with the right topology so just simple but i try to maintain the core this topology and now you can see the models its details after creating the uh, creating this model with the right topology this topology is not so good but yeah i try to maintain the core based topology and you can see the edge flow and something like this will take a lot time to create something like this you can see the face loop structure face loops goes all around to the mesh particularly and something like this you should have on your model when you are creating something like this to for the production so you can maintain the good form for your model and if it, uh, your texture and uv unwrapping so sometimes something like this kind of face loop structure helps while uv unwrapping also so that's why you need you should have this face loop structure on your model like this so you can maintain the form and the production necessary needs so something like this you should do for the production modeling you can see the face loops goes all around to the mesh and then i fill these gaps with a kid bash parts so you can see after filling the kid bash parts 
the model looks decent i didn't add the too many details on this models i try to make uh, keep it simple and then you can see the texture it's like a little bit heavy file because all the models are sub d models and then i texture it into the substance i didn't record that texture progression because i'm not this expert in the texturing like this but there you can see the uv unwrapping i have used a simple smart uv project for the uv unwrapping because it's like a too complex model and i don't want to spend too much time for the uv unwrapping so i have used a simple smart uv project and you can see the result while using the substance painter for the texturing i'm getting the good result on this model for the texturing because substance has that capability to texture your models with a uv unwrapping if the uv unwrapping is also not right and then i import those textures and just i connect those nodes to the principal psdf to good to get that desired result like the final output and then you can see the in the in the rendering process i just try to get the raw decent looking renders because it is like a difficult task for the modeling artist so just i have used a simple hdri and some few light setup that's it so this is my workflow for the production modeling so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care